One piece of work that we're really interested in was an experiment that was done over 40 years ago by Paul Baki Rita. So what he did was uh, he took a camera image and he converted it into uh, vibration on the back of blind people. And after tens of hours of training, uh, they learned how to interpret that vibration and recognize objects in the world around them. And so we're looking at this idea of how the mind is extended and how the body is extended by using technologies. So we thought it would be a good starting place would be to build our own um, tactile vision sensory substitution device or TVSS. So we use cheap off-the-shelf components with the idea that other people could take our designs and, and run with them. So what happens is um, we have a, a webcam that looks down at a table and our subjects stand at one end. They're blindfolded and we put headphones on them as well and all they can feel is uh, an array of vibration on their belly. And basically, as the ball rolls down the table, they feel the vibration roll down their abdomen. And if it's on the left-hand side of the table, they'll feel it coming down here. On the right-hand side, they'll feel it coming down here. Right, so now you've got that array on your abdomen. Is it nice and tight? Yes. So you shouldn't feel any vibration at the moment. But now you're going to feel a vibration, and I'm going to make a vibration. I'm going to put the ball in this corner, and it's going to make this motor, which is that one there, buzz. OK, so if I put it there, so the, the computer program has worked out where the ball is, it's tracked it, and it's made that motor buzz. And now if I move it along one, you'll feel the, the next motor vibrate. And if I move it along one more, you'll feel the next motor vibrate. And then that should be the bottom corner. So now if you move it a bit, you can get used to how that changes when you move the ball. We also track where the subject's hand is. We do that by, um, they wear a bicycle glove, which is day glow yellow, so it's easy to track. So as they move their hand, they'll feel a slightly gentler vibration moving across their abdomen. And basically their job is to try and get their hand vibration to coincide with the ball vibration. And if they do that, they can catch the ball. And people are remarkably good at it. So after only a few trials, most people can do it very well.